so now in this video we will see how to make html documents as well as we will see the editors of html document that means we can for example i'm using a windows machine here so uh, i'm going to show you that how to write html documents with a simple notepad or how to write the html document with a notepad plus plus as a file okay and uh, let us see how to save how to open the html document and see everything about it okay so first go to the start menu now here write notepad so there are two text editors i have one is notepad plus plus and other one is simple notepad which is comes with your windows so i'm just opening a simple notepad document now for this notepad document as you can see here now i can start writing my html document so because it is a html5 document so i'll be writing exclamation mark doc type as html now this is a starting tag this should be there in every html document now whatever html tags we are going to write or whatever html uh, you know tags will be there that will be between these two html uh, codes this is the first html code let me do one thing for you let me increase the size so that it will should be visible to you yeah so okay let me make it bigger i guess this is visible right so i'm going to write html and there will be a slash html which says that html document is ending in here now as i told you there will be two parts in an html document one is the head section and second one is the body section so we can have a head section the starting of the head section this will be the ending of the head section and second is we'll be having a body section starting of the body section and this is the ending of the body section now mostly in the head sections we are going to represent the simple information about the document like what is the title of the web page or uh, some metadata information now for example here in the head section i'm writing what is the title of the web page for that i'm going to write title let us say this is my first web page and then i'm going to do slash title so whatever i'm going to write here that will be shown in the title bar of the web browser and this is completely our head section now in the body section let us say i want to represent some text okay so i'm going to say this is some random text which is not formatted that's it so this is some random text now i'll go to file i'm going to save the document and let us say i'm going to save in my desktop i'm going to write it i'm going to give it a name instead of desktop let me say that document folders i'm going to save this in my document folder just for temporary purposes so let us say i'm going to name it as uh, index dot html so now the file is saved i'll go to my documents so this is my documents and as you can see here uh, i've written this html document which is currently present here i'm going to right click it i'm going to open it open with let us say google chrome so now this document is open the google chrome as you can see here this is my first web page and now if i just zoom in here i can see this is the text that i have written right so that is just zoomed in view of the text now this text whatever i have written that is in which is not at all formatted so just to format this text i am just going to open this my notepad again and here let us say i want to make this as a uh, bold text so i am going to write that this entire text inside the b tag which is opening bracket b closing bracket In the end i am going to write slash b that's it i'm going to save it and as you refresh the page as you can see there's a change which is the text now became bold now let us say i want to write some italic text text so i'm going to write i now this text will be in italic and then i'm going to write, write slash i here it ends now if i save it now you can see this text which is in bold and this text will be in italic just because we want to write it in ita italic so let me zoom it again so this text is in 
italic okay now you can see here uh, even if i have write, written these two lines uh, these two text in two different lines but still in the html web page it does not show this text in two different lines but rather it is showing the entire text in one single line now for that i can write a line change to, to change the line i'm going to write something called as line break okay so for line break i have to write opening bracket slash br and closing bracket that's it if i save it now refresh the page you can see the text is in two different lines okay now let us say i want to write some heading so what i'll do i'll write the text tag which is h1 h1 is the heading the first heading so here i'm going to write uh, this is a random heading and slash h1 okay if i save it so refresh the page you can see this is a random heading so we have written something called as a heading and we have written some random text and we have which is in bold and we have written some random text which is in italic so this is how you can uh, edit uh, or create an html document with this notepad that is simple notepad that you have now part of this you can also use some different text editors for example i can also use a text editor which is a notepad plus plus now in the notepad plus plus you can obviously install it it is available on google it's very easy for you go to language and you see the language should be selected as html and why i've written like this because it helps me to write the tags in a much easier fashion as well as it helps me to color the tags to identify between different tags let me do one thing again let me zoom in okay now let me write a simple html uh, file here so i'm going to write doc type as html because obviously it is showing auto suggestions just because we have uh, we are using the language as html for notepad plus plus now it became it becomes very easy to uh, write the html files or html tags here in that in this kind of text editor because it is giving inbuilt support for this now if i want to write html document i can just start it by html and i can end it by slash html so as you can see here it is already showing some toggle bar to uh, zoom in uh, and zoom out for a particular code now i have to write a head section here this is the starting of the head section this is the ending of the head section which is going to be ended by slash and there will be a body section so this is the starting of the body section and this is the ending of the body section okay in the head section i can write title so title of this page so title of this page is let us say this is a random web page title okay so this is slash title and for body i can write some random text or i can just show you that there's a h1 heading there. as you can see there are different kinds of heading you have h1 h2 h3 heading h5 heading and so on so let us say i'm using h1 heading again so i'm going to write this is a random heading slash h1 i'm going to change the line slash br and then i'm going to write in bold this is some random text which is bold so slash b again line change slash br then i'm going to write slash i which i which says this is some random text which is italic okay and then i'm going to slash i now this is a simple uh, html file now i'm going to go to file i'm going to save as save uh, now let us say i'm going to save this in the documents again uh, this is i'm going to make index to file dot html okay so i just saved this file now i go to this you can see index to file is here right click on this now let's say i'm opening this with the firefox web browser okay so as you can see here in the firefox web browser we have this heading of the web page we have some random text and we have some text which is bold and we have some text which is italic 
You can also try and open it with the different web browser. Let us say I'm trying and opening it with the Google Chrome. Again, the Google Chrome, if I zoom in. So we have the title of the web page, which is saying this is a random web page title. We have a H1 heading and then we have some two text that we have done or written. Now there is just an introduction how you can uh, use uh, a simple text editor to write HTML documents. Now let me uh, start with the basic HTML documents, which is the basic elements in an HTML documents one by one. I'll take all these things one by one, which can be a paragraph, which can be a link, which can be an image, which can be anything. I'll just take all these things one by one and try to show it in a very uh, easy manner or easy fashion. Okay. So let us move on to the next.